not a good morning here. Got up, made my breakfast, come out to my car, started my car. Sounds like the muffler's gone. It's not the muffler, check this out. All right, as you guys know, I got a 2007 Toyota Prius and um, right there where this hole is, supposed to be where the catalytic converter goes and it be gone, so. I didn't hear anything out here, but if someone knows what they're doing, it'll only take a couple minutes and they're gone and they're selling that. That part's probably already sold at a metal shop. I don't know how much they get for it. Four or 500 bucks maybe, I don't know. So I gotta spend, I don't know. These things are not cheap, a couple thousand bucks probably. Parts, labor, all this. Then I gotta go, I gotta get it towed over to um, someone to do it. Cause this thing, I'll show you guys what it sounds like. But catalytic converters, what are they? They, they uh, convert the uh, toxic gases from the combustion engine and make it so it's not as toxic when it goes out into the environment. And they got a bunch, bunch of precious metals that uh, absorb this toxic materials that are in these parts. So, and that's what's worth the money, the precious metals inside these catalytic converters. There's a shield, so I'm gonna go get a, another catalytic converter, spend all this money, and there's a shield or some kind of uh, protective device I can put over it. We'll see how well that how well that goes. But uh, here, I'll let you guys. Priuses are quiet, but I'm gonna go ahead and start this baby, and I'll show you guys how loud this thing is. All right, so here we go. Start this baby up. city huh <sighs> all right well I'm out a couple thousand bucks probably I'll keep you guys informed all right so I have a tow truck coming uh, $92 from uh, Bronco towing here in Tucson and it come by and said about an hour so they're gonna give me a call and they're on the way Huh, so I had this thing priced out. It's gonna be about 3,000 bucks with this new uh, catalytic converter and the, and the shield. And the shield is supposed to be riveted on. So it'll take the thieves a lot longer to saw it off or to get the catalytic converter next time. And hopefully <laughs> if someone tries to steal it again, I can come out there and run them off before they get to it with this new shield on there. Man, it's gonna be like three grand. <sighs> Money I do not, I do not have. So yes, I'm going over to the Toyota dealer. So I'm gonna make sure it's done right. And because uh, I've been, I just I don't try. I've been to other garages, and it's just hard to trust anybody. So. Uh, uh, the, the Toyota dealer is probably charging me, what, 50% more <laughs> than some other um, garage business. But that's where I'm going with. I decided to go to the, the Toyota dealership. And uh, I'll keep you guys posted, man. All right, towing up my vehicle back there. Kind of see it. Off to the... Uh, the service department at the uh, Toyota dealer. I uh, had Bronco Towing Service. They did a good job for me. Nice guy named Alex. You guys need some towing here in Tucson. Well, hello. Good morning. Get some exercise walking around. I actually had to walk down to uh, check this thing out. This is called Art. See, so how do I turn this thing around? I'll show you guys. 
just a little roundabout here in the middle of the uh, intersection. They threw some uh, scrap junk. Well, some junk is others' treasure or artwork. Got a little cowboy right in a bumper and a... Right, looks like a cowboy. Got his hat, the star on it. And some butterflies. All right. Anyway, walking down the road here. <clears throat> Went to, uh, had a walk to the bank. Because my car is in the shop, right? Um, hey, let's turn around. You guys can see my gorgeous face. All right. And the bank gave me a lollipop. It's always nice. <laughs> a little sugar. So yeah, walking home. <clears throat> As y'all know, my car uh, was not stolen. The catalytic converter, the cat, was stolen out of my car. So, lots of that going around. Did a bunch of searching online and YouTube searching and how people have uh, kind of deterred and how we can prevent this in the future. But... You know, if somebody wants something bad enough, of course they're gonna, they'll try to get it. But <clears throat> I'm putting a shield now over the cat in my car and riveted it on. So I'm thinking as a thief, and if I was a thief, I'd go underneath there and say, ooh, this is gonna be a tough job. Let's go to the next one, find an easier one we can just saw out in three minutes and get out of there. Cause I've seen some of these thieves on, uh, on cameras and they were gone actually in a minute jacked it up really quick there was like three there's a team of them jack sawed it quick one two saw and the the part just drops in their hand and they're running in their car and they're out and they're selling these parts but a lot of these youtube videos i like reading the comments and people have ideas you know i've seen you can paint you can paint the cat oh but what's that going to do if it's harder for them to sell it you can etch your VIN number, but you can just, as a, a thief, just etch it and scratch it off. And whoever's buying it, is, they just want the money, right? Um, you can crack down on the, the junkyards, the scrap yards, the metal yards that are buying these things. They can report them. Take your ID or what that. Um, there's cages, physical barriers uh, that we can put over the cat's. I've seen some cages. I've seen, I'm putting a shield over mine. It's cost like 300 bucks. And like I said, it's supposed to be riveted on. So I don't want this to happen again. Man, who does? So if you guys have any bright ideas, write that in the comments. I think I've heard, I've seen dozens of different ideas. And um, I've seen even this one guy said he, uh, <laughs> at home um, when he parks his car out for the home for the night he takes his cat out and then reinstalls it back in if that's some kind of option to do hey good morning um, yeah just plug in plug in or snap it snap it in snap it off that would be great huh uh, what do you do you know since the beginning of time, we've been trying to, uh, how do you, uh, we, we penalize the good people, people that follow the rules because of the bad, right? We need to put more harder penalties on these people that do the crimes. That'll deter them the most. I mean, if I would have caught that guy, ran him away, I didn't hear him, and my window is really close. I mean, maybe 25 yards I parked from my door. I didn't hear nothing. It was windy last night, and things were kind of rattling around, but I'm always, man, I go in the middle of the night, I have to go to the bathroom, I peek outside, look at my car still there, but uh, you can't really see someone underneath your car sawing part off. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is, uh, you know, there's more good guys than there are bad guys. But we always cater to the bad guys. Now we, not me, I got to spend a couple
couple thousand dollars to replace and put this part in and and a part that helps deter these thieves so they don't do it again they're out there running they probably make who knows these guys might be on a uh, a rampage in the town here yeah they're doing five or six of these cars a night i don't know what they get for the part Man, I'm gonna go buy a uh, gun, right? That's the best deterrent. I, I catch him next time, shoot his hands off, feet off. When he's underneath my car, I'll shoot his legs. That's the best deterrent right there. You know, he called the cops. They're not gonna do nothing. If I had his, uh, maybe if I had his, uh, how they gonna track someone down? I mean, I know, I know they're aware this is a, a big issue going on right now. And if they were parked, I would have caught them. I could have caught their uh, license plate number and the car that they're in. Help out. All right, I'm home here in my apartment. We'll see you guys in a bit. They said the parts are on order for my car. It's gonna take a couple days, so I'll continue the video then. Meanwhile, keep moving forward, right?